Buddhist standard time is significant. It represents living wholly and completely in the now, which is the only place we can ever be anyway. But we don't really know it. We're not fully present. And this is extraordinarily important today. That's why I've written this book. I wanted to apply what I've learned through meditation and the timeless wisdom traditions, especially Tibetan Buddhism and mindful and awareness techniques, to a modern problem. And who can deny that everybody we talk to says they're trying to catch up or they're falling behind or they have no time or they're crazy busy. It's like we seem to live in a time famine era. But where did all the time go? We still have as much time as ever. In fact, we have more leisure saving devices than the ancients did and than our grandparents and parents did. But we're multitasking, we're squeezing more in, we're hurrying, we always think faster is better and more is better. Nobody seems to have enough time for their real values, for their families, for themselves, to take care of ourselves, which is very important. And meditation and prayer and the conscious life is a very loving act. It's a beautiful thing to do. It's a way to befriend ourselves and the world. That's why I'm very much into this kind of backyard Buddhism, bringing it home, mindful anger management, learning how to be more present and be in Buddhist standard time, even in the car in traffic. That the stress and tension that we're adding doesn't help us get where we're going any faster. And having our minds so far projected outwards, we're totally missing where we are. How can we come home to ourselves, to our body and mind, heart and soul? That is a great question that I ask in this book. And there's tech tools and techniques for coming back to Buddhist standard time through the practice of presencing, through applied mindfulness to every action, through mindfulness in action, not just sitting meditation for half an hour in the morning, or yoga three times a week, or prayers in church or synagogue or mosque on the weekend, but every day.